What's going on everybody? This is Needham Tucker, owner of Katori Technologies. I've got over 20 years in the IT industry and I have a passion for helping people and their businesses. Today, we're gonna to talk about the cloud and how secure it is. This is one of the, the most questions I get. I get this question more than anything else from any of our customers or would-be customers when we're talking to them about the cloud. Uh, now, again, we've got a lot of videos about what the cloud is, so we're not gonna really cover that. We're gonna just talk about how secure and safe it is today. Wow, what another great question. So this, this is the one, this is the question that people really think. I have access to my data on my PC, it's here. I see it, I see the files. When they're in the cloud, they're up there in the ether and I really don't, I can't put my hands on them. And so that's a big concern for a lot of people that are scared of the cloud. Uh, if you're a millennial or you're you know really new into this stuff, it's like, oh, it's, oh we, we know what MP3s are. We don't know what cassette tapes are or eight tracks. I mean, it's, just, it's what they expect to see. Uh, so this is really for the kind of, I would say the old timers uh, that really are wanting to be secure with their information. Uh, the, the cloud uh, is safe. Uh, it's, it really depends though on your own level of, um, I guess, security that you put on it. Are you using secure passwords? Are you using implement, implementing two-factor authentication? So your computer is just as safe as the cloud is as long as you lock your front door, you have a password on a computer, and you've got an alarm system. So there's three ways that I have to get access to the data on your computer is, are those three things. I want that same level of security in the cloud, right? I want a good password, a good username. I want two-factor authentication to make sure that I've got something else to, to authenticate myself against. And I just want to be smart about where I put my data at. So you don't want to put your data on public pieces. You know, it's just like you're not going to take your PC and you're not going to stick it on, on the side of the road and say, oh, my data is safe. So again, the cloud is safe as long as you protect it like you would protect your, the information on your PC. So access to your data in the cloud is uh, something that could be up in the air. It really depends on what type of information you're storing in the cloud. Um, if we're talking about a website, then typically web developer or stuff like that. But when we're talking about your data, we're like your files, you know, things like that. So let's say we're talking about Dropbox or things like uh, ShareFile or OneDrive or Google Drive. Uh, typically, the uh, organization that is hosting your data typically has that data sitting encrypted uh, and they don't have access to it. It is something you need to ask. This is a question you need to ask. Uh, it, to the provider that's storing your cloud data or to your partner to see how your data sits at rest to make sure that uh, the somebody in the data center of choice doesn't have access, just open up your data and get access to it. So again, typically only you and people you allow access to your data have access to your data in the cloud. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna say this one at your own risk. And uh, it, it's not that it's not secure, that it's not safe, but again, you know, if I say yes, yeah, store your sensitive data, I just don't want you to hold me liable. So let's talk about what we're storing up there. Again, if we're doing good practices and having multi, you know, two-factor authentication, we've got a good password, good username, uh, things like that, then yes, you, know, you can store sensitive data up there. If you're being willy-nilly with your information, I wouldn't store sensitive data up there at all. Um, I wouldn't even store sensitive data on your PC if you're going to be willy-nilly that way. So again, it's all about what you, the user, decide to do. Um, this goes back to every security principle that is out there today. Um, most security uh, measures are completely crippled by the end user, by yet you, the end user, or your employees, the end user. So uh, sensitive data can be stored in the cloud. Typically, what you want to make sure of is that that data is stored encrypted, uh, and meaning that's what they call stored at rest, encrypted at rest, um, and then in transit, meaning that the, com the communication between your PC and the cloud, that, that that tunnel is encrypted as well. So if someone is uh, monitoring your system or has some sort of man in the middle attack going, they still can't see that information. So really, you know, making sure that your, your information is encrypted, that is the key to storing sensitive data into the cloud. Well, guys, that sums it up for today. You know, we, we covered three things today. We covered, is your data safer on the cloud or on your desktop? Uh, is, uh, who has access to your data in the cloud? And then can you store sensitive data in the cloud. And for, to summarize it all, yes to all of them. 
as long as you are safe and you are sure that your information is stored and uh, transmitted encrypted. Uh, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. You guys stay safe out there and we'll see you next time.